You just need to calm down about that, all right? I'm not <laughs> sure if you've ever been to the swamp, but right. but we'll invite you just so you can see what it's like, all right? Okay. This is truly, I know Les Miles always said that Death Valley was a place that opposing mm -hmm. dreams came to die. Yeah. That's yeah. what's happened a lot of times here in Gainesville. <laughs> and listen, it's only, you know, Friday morning, but I'm sweating. I got to literally take off my jacket right now uh, because it is so humid the, right here. The hot throb. In go Gainesville. Let, let's just be honest about this. This is what mm -hmm. opposing teams come in and face all right the humidity it's going to be like over 100 percent humidity all right let's just be honest i mean it will probably be 100 percent, but it's going to feel like more because that crowd's going to be going so crazy sweating in the studio a lot of great teams have shown up here and they have no idea how to answer that bell of 90 something thousand fans freaking out listen alabama is the better team there is no doubt about it but did you just see on that highlight reel when i said florida is going to compete and what did they do? They competed better than any other team in the country did against Alabama last year. And it was 52-46. Right, so right, would you count right. that as competition or no? No, no, I would count that as competition. And I'll give you your props because you told me it was going to be more competitive than I thought it would be. And I respect that and I got that. But do you have any idea how laughable your position is right now? I mean, this is the all time. I want everybody to pause and I want y'all to take a deep breath and think about what Tim Tebow just did. We got Florida, the Gators, Gator Nation in Gainesville hosting the reigning defending national champions and the number one team in the nation. And Tim Tebow brought up humidity. <laughs> I mean, you bring up weather brought, all the time. He brought up the humidity. He, he didn't say anything about the quarterback. Listen, first, first, first of all, hey, say, calm, calm down. We're, we're just going to because you look like the AD point, today, Stephen, Stephen, Stephen A. A with that tie hey, on. Hey, I, I'm, I didn't just bring up humidity. I brought okay. up environment. Humidity right, is just right. a piece of it, right? right and right, if you don't right, think right, this environment right, is right. a place where other people freeze, where opposing right. teams freeze, where they crumble, then you should just go look at the record books. My bad. My bad, my bad. Let me let me let me get more specific, okay? Because you know I haven't seen Florida. F forgive me, I was busy. I didn't have it on I my schedule. I get it. Why would you on, watch film? I get it. Why would you watch the tape? Let me express. You know? Let me express myself. I apologize. I didn't get a chance to watch Florida versus Florida Atlantic. I didn't get a chance to watch them against South Florida. My bad. But I did. I see Emory Jones here. That's one of your quarterbacks. Did he throw four interceptions already in the first two games against those dudes? Okay. We got Anthony Richardson. He got two touchdowns. Now, he can run the football 275 yards rushing in the first two games. I give him his props. And obviously, Emory Jones got 155 yards rushing. Jacob Copeland, I mean, he looks all right. But they going up against Alabama. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, listen, I bet you, I, I, I bet my team, they're going to get mocked. They're going to get destroyed. <laughs> let, me, let me be very, very clear about what I'm saying. So we're not even confusing the issue. I don't care about humidity. I don't care about suffocation. I don't care about Gainesville and, and Gator Nation. G, G Vegas. Vegas. I don't care about none of that. And by the way, <laughs> last time I checked, it gets pretty hot in Alabama. I mean, it ain't like it ain't like it's the North Pole or Alaska or something. It gets pretty hot in Alabama. And they seem to be just fine. At the end of the day, you got Bryce Young right here. I'm looking at Brian Robinson Jr. I'm looking at this cat right here, John Mechie. Oh, don't get me started with Jamison Williams. They, they gonna drop another 50. The difference is y'all will get nowhere near 46. Florida, I'm wishing you nothing but the best. I like your school. I love your history and get all of that. And guess what? You're going to win some few games after you lose to, tomorrow. You're going to win a few games. Kentucky, Tennessee, LSU, Vanderbilt, and all that stuff. But come tomorrow in Gainesville, they, they going to mock y'all right out of the state. It ain't going to even be close. It will not be close. I got you losing by a minimum of three touchdowns. A minimum of three touchdowns. This going to be a blowout. It's going to be a blowout, and I'm betting you right now it's going to be a blowout. You can bet the house on it, baby. It ain't going to even be close. So, so if, if Florida is closer than that, how about next Friday you rock a gator tie? Rock a gator tie? Done. Yeah. Done. It's not hey, a problem. It's by, not a by problem. By the way, Stephen A., is, right. uh, is Alabama a better football team right now? Yes, you can check that. Do they yeah. have more depth? Yes. yes. Do they probably have more playmakers? Yes. Yes. But. Yes. But. Yes. but when you look at it, right, you look at the way Dan Mullen has coached against them, especially last year in the SEC championship, an mm -hmm. incredible game plan, had right. a chance to win. 
uh, Alabama threw a pick and uh, and Florida had it and they fumbled. That would have okay. changed the game. Also fumbled on the goal line. That would have changed the game. Mm -hmm. If there wasn't the miscues, Florida would have literally had a shot to win that game mm -hmm. at the very end. So obviously Kyle Trask, Kyle Pitts is gone. But when you look at the skill and the playmakers now, it's different, but it is also very lethal. Emory Jones, you could say, yes, he's made some, some bad throws, but he is also super gifted. He's made some incredible throws. But then Anthony Richardson, right, the, the new 1-5 in Gainesville, this dude is an absolute freak. And if his hamstring is okay, you're going to see him do some special, special things, Stephen A. And okay. I think you're going to see both of these guys play a lot. Okay. And I think you're even going to see both these guys at the same time. And if Alabama's not ready for it, it might be able to give them, give them some fits. And you're talking about, oh, who does Florida play? Well, by the way, let's be honest. Who is Miami and who is Mercer? So right. if we're going to trash one team for their opponents, let's, I mean, let's be honest no. about both. <laughs> Miami doesn't have Michael Irvin anymore. Excuse, excuse me. Miami was a top 15 team in the nation. I understand. Yes, that but that's, that's the what, AP the poll. Who cares? Florida the AP has 11. no idea what they're talking about. I, I understand. That's fair. That's fair. Here's what I'm saying. I just want to make sure I got all your all your rationale in order. So, so Emory Johnson made some bad throws, but he's a damn good athlete. He's a freak of nature. He's going to do some things. Anthony Richardson, we can't ignore him. And, oh, by the way, Dan Mullen and his coaching. And, of course, let's not forget the humidity is very, very important. The humidity is going to play a factor in here. I'm telling you right now. It's going to be bad. I hope you're not <laughs> staying for the game. It's going to be bad. I have two I'm questions. I want, I, want, I want Florida because I, I, I want Florida Nation to understand. I'm rooting for you in the future. I think that you got – listen, I know the history of the program, mad respect, and I think that these guys, okay. they got some potential, and I expect mm -hmm. big things from them down the road. Tomorrow, they will get annihilated. Okay. It won't even hey, be Stephen close. A. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.